Hi friends, thanks for joining us again today. I have a question for you. Do you know where God's house is? God's house is the church. And God wants us to have the right attitude when we come into his house. Let's learn about a time when Jesus found people not treating God's house with respect. After Jesus went to Jerusalem, he visited the temple. This was a large place where the Jewish people would worship God. But Jesus knew that these people were doing things that did not honor God. Some people were using the temple courtyard to make money. They were using God's house to buy and sell things. And not only were they not treating God's house with respect and they were treating it like a market, but they were also cheating people. Uh -oh. The sellers were charging more money than the true cost of the item. Buy your local lambskin right over here. Come on, buy your local lambskin. I got pants, lamb, skin, pants. Come on, get over here. What you got? For the night, here's some pants, young lady. Buy your local lamb skin right over here. I got the head for you. Local lamb skin. Get your fish. It's fresh. It's extra, extra, extra expensive. I mean, it's fresh. Um, fresh. Are you gonna buy some fish or what? Yeah. Okay. Hello. Which one do you want? That one. That one. Hundred. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Goodbye. That's my fish. Wait. That was mine. <laughs> bread. Come and eat your bread. Come and eat it. Hold on, I'm right here. I'm right here. I got the seven. Here. Oh, I get to feed my whole family. Thank you. Imagine people using our church to buy and sell things. That is not what God's house is for. This made Jesus angry. He knew what these people were doing was wrong and it was disrespecting God's house. And that made him mad. Oh, I'm selling futures. Anyone? Anyone? I have, I have the future right here. I'm right here. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. No. So Jesus went over to the tables and the benches and he overturned all of them. He told the people who were buying and selling things to leave immediately. Whoa. Jesus wanted the people to know that the temple, just like the church, is meant to only worship God. But they were using the church as a place to create a dishonest business instead of using it for its true intention. It is written that the Lord said, my house will be called a house where people from all nations can pray. But you have made a den for robbers. Yeah, you. When the people saw Jesus do and say these things, they were shocked. I can't believe what Jesus just did. Yeah, who does he think he is anyway? His name is Jesus, didn't you know? Okay, sorry. They began looking for a way to kill Jesus because they were afraid and they were angry. So here's what we're gonna do, okay. We're gonna get Judas, he's gonna infiltrate and give him a good smooch on the cheek <laughs> and turn him into us. And we're just gonna kill him. <laughs> Easy as that. Yay, that's what I'm doing. However, as it got darker, Jesus and his disciples left the city of Jerusalem. We need to remember that Jesus is God's son and the temple was God's house. 
And because Jesus is God's son, he was in charge of the temple. He had every right to make those people leave his father's house because they were doing bad things there. They weren't treating it with respect. Think about this. How would you feel if someone came to your house and they disrespected it? Maybe they started taking your things or maybe they just started making a huge mess. This would probably make you very angry, especially if you had to clean it up. Anger is an emotion like happiness or sadness. It's completely natural to feel angry at times. However, it is how we handle our anger that determines what is and what is not okay. Just because we're angry it doesn't give us the right to be mean, violent, or rude. When we're angry, we must control our anger. We must act in a way to improve the situation instead of making it worse. Jesus used his anger to stop the situation. But notice that Jesus didn't stay angry. When we're angry, we can be like Jesus and get really fired up for just a moment to make the situation better. Jesus was still able to honor God even when he was angry. Jesus' anger woke up the people who were using God's house as a market and made them realize what they were doing was wrong. God's house is meant for worship. Worship is showing praise to God and there are several ways to do it. cheating and stealing in God's house is all very disrespectful. But going to church and doing loving things at church, praying for people, reading our Bible, those are all good things to do in God's house. So for example, I should not be talking when somebody else is praying. I should bow my head and I should close my eyes to show them respect. I should not run around the church like it is a playground, but I should run on the playground, right? I should play nicely with my friends. I should speak kindly to my friends. And when we are in God's house, we should act in a loving way. In fact, we should do these things all the time. Before we go today, let's bow our heads and close our eyes and let's pray together. Well, God, we thank you so much that we can come to church and learn about you. Thank you for how much you love us. Help us to make the right choices when we are angry so we don't hurt others' feelings. Help us to treat your house, this church, with respect and to honor you in kids' worship, in the classroom with our teachers and our friends, or when we are playing on our awesome playground. We thank you for all of these things. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining us again this week. We'll see you next week. Bye. It's so soft. This is a little stale. I don't have the dollar. I come back. This here, the prized fish. Hundred dollars. You want this one? That's not enough. <laughs> <laughs> That'll get you about a quarter of this one. Take that one. This is, you don't have enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's not enough. Really? <laughs> She's stealing your money. Out you're just stealing my money now? <laughs> That's how. It, you're dropping it. That's my money. Go <laughs> turn over. Uh, whoa.